It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Chicago Bears and the Los Angeles Chargers. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the city of angels, Los Angeles, California. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the L.A. Chargers. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kickoff straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. kicker that's Cameron Dicker set to get us started and we are underway in Southern California and good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20 so here come the Bears to take over on offense behind their third year quarterback and former Ohio State Buckeye Charles Justin Fields we all knew Fields was an incredible athlete coming out of college and last season he unleashed it upon the NFL ran for over 1,100 yards and would have broken the quarterback single season record if he had played the full season. He also threw 17 touchdown passes and that's the next jump for him. More consistency as a passer. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Darnell Mooney, the target there, but it's gonna be second down. to throw his fields. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that would draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. Not much room here as he only gets into about the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That's a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one yard gain. Here's Johnson again on second down. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. That was off kilter. Offense up front, everyone was just kind of out of sync. Well, from my perspective, that certainly looked like the defense just destroyed that play. Absolutely just took it over. All right, so I'm going to revamp what I said. The defense <laughs> was in sync. How about that? Oh, I like that one. Room past the 35, and he'll finally be taken down just shy of midfield. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Field's going to keep it running right. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. From the 42 now, here's second and two. 
A play fake, now fields to throw. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was a terrific play, causing a loss. As a middle linebacker, simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them, as he did there. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Again, it's Johnson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Back to throw, Fields. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Bears are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, the underdog here is showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech, but I will guarantee you somewhere along the way, the head coach said, let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So the Charger offense making its way out, and at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago. At 25 years of age, out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. The Chargers just continue to improve and take steps forward under the quiet leadership of Herbert, who's been the most productive quarterback in league history through his first three seasons. Over 4,700 yards last year, he's expecting to crack the 5,000-yard mark in this season. That's caught by the rookie, Quentin Johnston. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The end result, 21 yards. Now their versatile running back, here's Austin Eckler. That's some good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second down and five. From the 50, here's Herbert. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now it's Herbert. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And it's knocked away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try and throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line.
This now a third and four. Here's Herbert. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 13-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. But they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down, but give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage, but it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. This is caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Gerald Everett from six yards away. And the Chargers are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. For the extra point, Cameron Dicker. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Seven seven here as the kicks away. Scott on the return out of the end zone, and only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game, and they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest gain. Fields. He's got the connection to Moore. The result, only four yards there on the play. And now it's third and three. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation, pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit, too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. Now it's Fields off the bootleg. They'll roll him out right. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Well, the pressure just couldn't get to him that time. They forced him out to his right, but he held his poise, surveyed the field, didn't find anything he liked, and then took off and picked up a nice gain. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and three. Here's Fields. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, 
When they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Fields on third down. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he will have the Bears first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. On first and ten, here's Fields. Now a screen set up for Johnson. Breaks through the contact. Treads him with a stiff arm. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. A good pickup, 17 yards and a bare first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cover. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Off play action, Fields. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Excellent defensive effort to get to him and provide a little contact before the catch could be made cleanly. Second and ten. Here's Fields. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. Those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. On second down, Johnson. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. Some good strong running right there, some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Third and goal from the two, and they're going with a jumbo set offensively. Field's going to hold on to it. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Bears have taken the lead. Santos now to add the PAT. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was all capped off by the Justin Fields touchdown run. He took it in himself. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are 
you loosened up, but even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. Herbert running left off the option. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Herbert. Throw over the middle into the hands of the tight end Parham. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Here comes third down at seven. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That goes for a gain of 31. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game, and they hit that one there for big yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Herbert back to the air. His throw incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Chargers have a first down. Well, they're getting ready to go to work now. Prime real estate after that last run found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. On first and 10, Herbert. And this caught left side by the tight end Parham. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll bring up second down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Option play, and they'll give to Eckler. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Holding offense. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. On second down, Eckler works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Herbert now. That is caught, and they'll get this down to the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there, because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That's good for a gain of six. Second and goal.
Here's Herbert. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Rashawn Slater, first round pick in 2021, guilty there. A crucial penalty there as the hold backs him up for another second and goal. They go back to the ground now with Eckler, and he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts, being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Now Herbert, third and goal. And he'll just get rid of it. Brings up fourth down, solid coverage by the Bears' D. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. And his kick is right there. It's good, and they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. Dicker now as he'll send this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. From the gun, here's Fields. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way, and what else do you have to look? Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. That sack by Khalil Mack. The trade to Los Angeles didn't phase Mack, who had eight sacks and made a seventh Pro Bowl in his first year back on the West Coast. He remains a productive player off the edge as he approaches 100 career sacks in the NFL. Here comes the Bears punter now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Now a fair catch is called for and taken a few yards across midfield. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Wide open. It's Allen complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there. 21 yards. It's a game of matchups. And that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Let's go. Let's go. 
Two yards to go, second down. Now it's Herbert. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Herbert operating from the red zone. Open man is Palmer. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. <laughs> Up the middle with Eckler. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Gerald Everett with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers have taken the lead. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. He has multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now 17-14. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Toss wide side. This is Johnson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Tried to get the edge there. The defense just too quick to the ball. That's what we call total team defense there. Can't get to the edge. No place to move it inside. And then allows everyone else to run to the ball and create a big-time tackle for no gain for the offense. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now that sets up third and two. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. 
And reminder coming up here at halftime, we'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. down so they send out Trenton Gill and now the up man has it it's a fake and the gamble pays off they get the first they're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one and they were right in that gray area on the edge of long field goal range maybe too short to punt it so the defense probably was expecting this was a possibility. They should have been, and in most cases, what you do on defense is you go to what they call punt safe. In other words, you leave your defense on the field, prepare for them to possibly go for it, and then you just have a little bit different responsibilities. You're not really trying to get a big return. You just want to make sure you get the ball back. But they fell asleep at the switch. Now a second and two. Out of the gun, Fields. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. And they are going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. Fields. Throw's going to be incomplete. Darnell Mooney, the target there. And it's second down. Now it's Fields. And an off balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. A shotgun snap. Fields complete to Mooney on the slant. Now the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. The fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will tie things at 17-all. So it was fourth and one down in the red zone, but they elect to take just the three. And I'm a little surprised that that's how they decided to play it, that they didn't go for it there, but sometimes just take those three points and put them in your pocket. I just have one question for you, partner. Okay. Hip pocket or back pocket? Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Chargers going to take over here one more time before the half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts, and defensively they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Second and five. Here's Herbert. They'll find Everett there, complete. 
Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. first down now on the out loud he finds Johnston and he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35 yard line so they'll get eight out of that completion and it'll be second in a couple if you run an out route it's likely you end up near the sideline and what did we just see there the toe tap. you got it the benefits of practice toe tapping foot dragging picking it up and making sure it was a catch take the lead here 20 to 17. So a big play before the end of the half to get them into this spot and they cash in with three. How about the one two to the solar plexus on that one the big play the field goal not much time left on the clock that's the way to go into the half. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We're accustomed to seeing strong quarterback play. We got that in the first half from Justin Herbert. He fired his guys into the lead with two first half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely gonna play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. Yeah, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? And a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. On second down, here's Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And Allen's going to have a Chargers first down as he'll get this up to the 32. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Eckler now between the tackles. This one up to about the 38. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Back to throw here, Herbert. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And Allen's going to have a Chargers first down as he'll get this up past the 45. 
They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Herbert. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 70 yards on the ground for Eckler here. That's a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. On first down, Justin Herbert. They find his target, Allen. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. That one goes for 30 yards. They came out with an aggressive mindset to start the third quarter, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them take more of these type of deep shots as this game moves along. They connected there. They expect to connect on more before this one's over. are able to get him down. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. you got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting him a few yards. The carry here for the big tight end, and he is in to the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Chargers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? the Dicker field goal. He's back out, ready to send it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Now second and seven from the 23. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Ran it last time, now fields to throw. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three, it leaves him with fourth and one. A short game that doesn't get him the first down, 
brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Two yard punt, six on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having that much a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but. Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. A handoff. It's Eckler. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Here's Herbert now on second down. It's wheeled in downfield by Johnston. Chargers are able to extend their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see them, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Extra point try now from Dicker. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was Quentin Johnston who finished that drive off with a touchdown grab. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And not much doing there, maybe a yard up to the 23. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. They toss it out right to Johnson. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Here's Johnson again on second down. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Not the start to the drive they were hoping for. That run doesn't get him much at all. No, not at all. And that leaves him with third and long, which means you've got to dial up something pretty good. Think your best player with a play that he likes to run best. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, we could counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third and a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. 
So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Chargers will be set up pretty well as they take over in great field position. Running on first down, Eckler. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That first, good for 20 and a first down. Eckler has long been one of the most underrated players in the NFL, but he's now starting to get his due. 915 yards, a career best last season, with 13 touchdowns on the ground. the play fake to Eckler it's Herbert that's gonna be caught touchdown Gerald Everett 26 yards and the Chargers get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead boy he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one it's certainly not fun for that defense though Charles now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game yeah we're supposed to be neutral but i'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary a clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game dicker down attack on the extra point and he's been a busy man five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead hardly any time taken off the clock there two plays and they find the end zone for six points So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Chicago offense set to get started. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. Off play action, Fields. And that is incomplete. An attempt at a deep ball there, and they didn't get it. But boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and 10 to throw his Fields. And he can't find a receiver. And brought down credit the sack to Joey Bosa every other season of Bosa's seven-year career had injuries cost him time stayed true to that last year only five games played good news he has rebounded with double-digit sacks and a pro bowl season each year following those injuries So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. They're going to look to throw. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And they work this well upfield across the 45. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. the middle Johnson oh nice move and he's able to get this one down to the 40 yard line another nice game 13 yards that time and another first down despite the score despite the deficit no quitting this guy he's running angry running through arm tackles he wants to change what that scoreboard is saying so from Charger territory now here's a first and 10 right at the 40 again it's Johnson no dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? 
It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Khalil Mack able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's Charger football, and they've got the lead as well as we begin the fourth quarter. And that's going to be good for Chargers first down as he gets this up past the 30. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. On the option, here's Eckler. On the tackle, that was Greg Stroman, the former Virginia Tech Hokie. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second and five. On the give, this is Eckler. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. now work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete and he is going to have the Chargers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three this is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down you're not looking for a big play downfield you just want to find something that can get you past the marker they found it and were able to keep the drive moving this is a counter play Eckler and he can only manage to get a couple Second and eight coming up. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Second down and eight. Once more, here's Eckler. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That is caught. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 28. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. But normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know. Maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? At this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. 
and trusting this quarterback, I think you continue to do so. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game, and they're not holding back. They're still throwing the foot. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab, and the Chargers have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. Taken at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do this thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now Fields. That's complete to Mooney. That'll give him eight that time. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, Fields. There's Mooney with another catch. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front, they won the battle of leverage and created a push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. 
Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and eight. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. That's Yannick Ngakwe with a sack. Give Ngakwe credit on that play and for what he's done throughout his career. He's been on five teams across the last four seasons, but has never stopped producing. At least eight sacks every single year, and he's still only 28 years old. The offense on third down, they've been excellent. Six for seven. This will be third and 15. Here's Herbert. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing off yardage milestones and win or lose. His name has to be in serious discussion for player of the game. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. This take it in at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, They've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now it's Fields. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a... Oh, he faked it with a joke. Now he's got some room. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Fields now to throw. He's got the connection to Moore. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brings up second and one at the 25-yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Looking to throw on second down, Fields. That's complete right side to commit. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 14. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Fields. And again, back to Komet. 
And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just get... And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Santos with the extra point. And the lead drops from 34 down to 27. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. And a short pick up to about the 27. It'll be second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Second down and six now. It's Eckler again. There he goes. Austin Eckler. And did he get in? No. Down at the one-yard line. A big play there out of the running game. 72 yards. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandably so, not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.